Hello and welcome to Rock Solid. I'm so glad you could join us. Today we are going to be looking at the second in our series of Stories Jesus Told. Anne is going to be looking at the parable of the lost son with us. Can you remember what a parable is? Well, a parable is a short, simple story that teaches or explains an idea. By looking at Jesus' parables, we can learn about how we should behave and how God wants us to love and be kind to each other. So over to you, Anne. Hi, everyone. Do you like parties? I do. Lots of yummy food, fun games and laughing with friends. Well, I'm going to tell you another story with a meaning or parable that Jesus told. The story is about a young man who also liked food, fun and partying until it all went wrong. By telling the story, Jesus was telling about God's love for everyone, however good or bad. It's in the Bible, in Luke chapter 15, and I'm going to read it from the Lion's Children's Bible. There was once a landowner who had two sons. One day, the younger son said to his father, I'm tired of being at home, doing as I'm told. I want to go away, so please give me my share of the family fortune now. Without a word, the father set about making all the arrangements and handed him his share of the estate. With money in his bag, the son started off for the bright lights of the town. He spent his money freely enjoying himself and doing whatever he wanted. One bleak morning he woke to find that his money had all gone, and so had his friends. Worse still, there was a severe famine in the land. He was soon in real need. When at last he got a job, it was looking after the pigs. He was so hungry that he would have been glad to eat the pig food himself. At last he came to his senses. Here I am starving, he said to himself. When back at home, even my father's casual workers get plenty of food to eat. I shall go back and tell him how sorry I am. He won't take me back as his son but he may give me work on the farm. He started off at once, painfully covering the rough ground on bare feet and pulling his ragged cloak around his thin body. When he was still a long way from home, his father caught sight of him and ran to meet him, full of pity and love. He threw his arms around him, tears of joy running down his cheeks. I'm sorry, father, the boy whispered, near to tears himself. I'm not fit to be your son. But the father wouldn't let him say another word. He turned to the servants. Get my son the best robe and bring sandals for his feet. Put my ring on his finger. Then kill the calf we've been fattening up. We're going to have a party to celebrate. The party was in full swing by the time the older son arrived back from a day in the fields. What's going on? He asked the servants around him as the sound of music and dancing came to his ears. Your brother's come home, they replied. We've killed the prize calf for the feast. The older brother was furious. He stormed up and down with a face like thunder. 
His father came out to find him. Come and join the party, he begged. But the older son scowled. I've slaved for you all these years, he grumbled. Yet you've never given a party for me. Now this son of yours, who's wasted all your money, comes home and you kill the prize calf. The father was sad to see his son, jealous and unloving. Everything I possess belongs to you, he reminded him gently. You are with me all the time. It's right to celebrate, for your brother was lost and now he's found. So the younger son, who'd left his father, thought he was having such a good time. He lost all his money. He lost all the people he thought were his friends and he had nothing left. He was very sad and sorry for what he'd done. The older son was very jealous and unloving, but the father reminded him that everything he possessed belonged to him and it was right to forgive his brother and to celebrate. The father loved them both. And God loves us like that too. He is a great big God with a great big heart of love. I know a song about that, but first we'll just stop and be quiet for a moment and talk to him. Dear Father God, thank you for loving me. I'm sorry for the things I've said or done that were wrong and make you sad. Please help me to love other people like you love me. Amen. So let's listen to the song now and have a good week everyone. Bye. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He is higher than a skyscraper. 
Thank you, Anne, for sharing the parable of the lost son with us. The parable of the lost son is a wonderful story that Jesus told, and it really does show us the love and kindness that God has for every single person. Now, I have a challenge for you this week, but you have to keep it a secret. I want you to try and do as many random acts of kindness this week as possible. Now, random acts of kindness can be something really big or really small, but as long as you're being kind and thoughtful towards someone, then you've done a random act of kindness. But this is where the secret bit comes in. You don't need to tell someone that you're being kind to them or announce that this is your random act of kindness. You just need to do something or say something. But chances are, whoever you're being kind to will notice what you've done or said and be really happy and grateful for it. So do you think you're up for the challenge? I do. Well, we've come to the end of this week's Rock Solid, but I cannot wait until next week where I will be looking at the parable of the lost coin. I hope you all had an an amazing week and can join us next Sunday. Bye. (laughs) 